Well, they are redefining boxed wine here in Massachusetts, thanks to some help from family back home. Joining us now, Antonio Bertone and Alexandra Drain from Alaleo, Gloucester. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in today. We're so excited. We want to jump right in and we want to know how did you get started in the wine industry? So, um, <laughs> we both get so excited. So, it's really been a dream of ours forever. Antonio comes from a family that's made wine for generations. Mm. And during COVID, I mean, literally, like, stomp on the wine grapes in the house, Best, kind of yeah. making wine. <laughs> that was and more to keep the kids occupied. occupied. <laughs> um, and during COVID, his mom was diagnosed with a really serious illness. And we wanted a way to keep her legacy alive and also to create upward mobility for our family in Sicily. So we were like, let's just start now. What are we waiting for? Let's actually just get this started. And that was how we started doing it. And then Antonio had lots of ways to make it actually happen. My cousin's a winemaker in Sicily. Mm -hmm. and and, you know, I think everybody romanticizes like these massive estates and stuff, but like making wine is actually just a job. It's like a trade. So we're, we come from a marketing background. So we said, hey, how do we productize this and actually start to, you know, create a bridge that hopefully lasts generations between the U.S. and Sicily. And you went with boxed, and I, I can't help but notice your shirt here. Boxed wine is not a crime. It's not a crime. It's not a crime. So why did you go with the boxed wine? Because we're gluttons for punishment. She's going to kill me for saying that. No, but as a format, it actually is a better performing format from a sustainability standpoint and from a freshness standpoint. The wine stays fresh for over 45 days after you open a box. It's half the transport emissions of its bottle equivalent. I mean, in that lovely little package is four bottles of wine that'll last you a month and a half. So if you were just a, you know. So, so it's that's great. just one night for. Uh, exactly. That's good. We have friends who are like, what do you mean there are four bottles in there? No, yeah. no, 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 Please don't tell me that. Right. Yes. But I do, that point is such an important one, which I think in the United States, I grew up thinking box wine, like you would never drink box wine. Yeah, it gets a bad rap. It gets a bad rap, but it shouldn't, because it's actually really beautiful. And it's just got an extraordinary ability to last, which I think is, is underreported. And I think when it has a beautiful name like Alaleo, could you guys tell us where you got the name from? So it's a mashup of our family's names. So Antonio, Alex, we have a son, um, Leo, a daughter, Lily, and a, uh, a niece who's like a daughter to us, Alessia. So you mash all those names together and you get Alaleo. Okay. And it's got a nice lyrical. ring to it, you know, it, it pops off the box. So we're, we're, this was all in like, when we're all in the COVID bubble, right? Mm -hmm. And we're trying to fantasize what this thing could be like. So everything mama. from branding to design to packaging was like all while we're locked in our house. Yeah, and his mama was part of it. So she knew before she passed that mm -hmm. this thing was really going to happen and she was part of our brainstorming sessions which was great I yeah that, that makes it even more special what mm -hmm. makes the wine unique uh, in addition to the fact that it's boxed is there anything about the wine itself so it's low intervention or natural wines i don't know if you know there's a, a new subset of consumers that are looking for you know less chemically altered wines mm -hmm. you know a lot of wines that are mass produced they're manipulated in a way to stay consistency over zillions of liters natural wines are pretty much the true expression of that year's harvest so we don't add any preservatives clarifiers you know all the wines are unfiltered these happen to be all from one single estate in Marsala Sicily so you know it, it, it's basically like as organic as you possibly can get. I mean, there's another even more intense category called biodynamic, but we don't need to nerd out on that one yet. Yeah, no. say, because it's awesome. Like, <laughs> it, just it's just really delicious. It is delicious. Yeah. And because it's delicious and awesome, we can't leave them hanging. Where can they find it? Yes. Oh, you can buy it online. We <laughs> ship to 41 states across the, the U.S. on alaleowines.com, but we're in wonderful retailers like Ely in Boston, Streetcar Wines in Jamaica Plain. They gave us our first shot we're so thankful to them, to them the Thank wine you. press in brookline but your finer wine stores and right now until mid-october we're running a pop-up wine bar in the seaport at the superette yeah. which has been super fascinating because it's like a living focus group i would know? also say we, we're massachusetts based and so mm -hmm. um and the wine comes out of gloucester so shout out to everyone who support us locally it's a, we're very very grateful love that and let's keep supporting based, them yeah. but then they're gonna uh, they just committed to taking us to Sicily. Yes. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. You heard We're leaving next. Okay, yeah, we're leaving. We'll be right back. <laughs> Antonio Bertone and Alexandra Drain from Alaleo. Thank you. Welcome back. Antonio, Alex, we've got to make sure people know the Alaleo pop-up. Where can they go? It's 70 Pier 4 Boulevard at the Superette, uh, which is this beautiful collective of shops, and we're smack in the middle of it with our little wine truck. Um, we're there until the middle of October, and we're open seven days a week from 11 to 7.